Yeah, my wonderful people, viewers and subscribers all over the world, I welcome you all to another episode of Biafrance to the World, Biafrance to the Moon, and Biafrance to the All Powers of the World. <laughs> we are leading the race. Well, as I'm talking to you now, all the whole Igbos in the, whether you are Igbo south, south, to, from the southeast to, that is uh, in the so-called uh, Zojuran military. Out of what the military are doing to the South East, and as all of them say, they know they do again. Now they are pleading with them, even promising them heaven and earth, promising that they will release Mazen Nam Dekan, and they said, Nehikaba. Nigerian army speaks on mass resignation of Igbo soldiers over low morale and corruption. You can take it to the bank. That is the, the real news. I don't care what they write here. But that is exactly what is happening right at this moment. Who talks say Biafra know they, that Biafra know they shake the world? Who talks say what the, the BG uh, is doing that is not shaking the, 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 the what they call the taproot of the Zojurians? Who talk who talk like that? Hey, if you if you are if you are among them, well, you need to gather here now. Let me give you some senses or let me lecture you because Biafrans are taking over. Someone must, might ask, uh, how do this relate to the Biafran struggle, my dear? Let me tell you, what we are doing is really shaping the narrative. Uh, what they think about the Zojuran and the Biafran nation. Biafran nation have come to stay, and there's nothing anybody can do about it, whether you believe it or not. That's the simple truth. Whether the Afonjas believe it or not, whether the IPOP Nigeria, who keep on going about uh, carrying propaganda that they don't even know where it came from. But the truth there is that Biafra have come to stay and Biafra nation is inevitable. Second of December is sacrosanct. Go and write it down. Other news we wanna go here now. Make on a see what in the happen. Bandit leader Belo Tuji, who uh, they say they, they declared him wanted, they don't know where he stay. But his boys is busy doing take a talking and uh, pepper souping and jellofing. They said they don't know where Billy Tuji is. Now they are putting the lives of the general public at risk. Eh? We're placing 20 billion, uh, 10 billion, uh, 1 million. Anybody who can uh, give you useful information about Tuji. Why? Because I see what the guy don't do again. Bandit leader Belo Tuji slashes levy imposed on Zafra villagers from 50 million naira now to 30 million. He's collecting his own tax. Belo Tuji in jail for that matter. But their military are busy in Obaro, killing innocent Biafrans and burning the elements of their dead body. What kind of inhuman treatment is that? Man inhumanity to dead bodies. Killing them and you burn them beyond recognition so that no any single autopsy or whatsoever will be carried out on what really caused their death. That's exactly what they're doing, mutilating their bodies. International community is there. We have governor in Anambra State, Governor Toludo, who says nothing about this inhuman treatment. He shall be well. Mwa look at Belo Tuji, he's collecting his own tax. Aduri Ngelele was sacked because of Ndibu, Kenneth Okonkwo. He don't come out, come open our eyes. The reason why Tunubu's government said this guy, he be like, say, don't they talk too much. Obi appoints Ibrahim Omar as his new spokesperson. This is another Afon Jazz, another uh, Ifa Ajuna, and also Ziki. He is there to betray us, but don't worry, he's dealing with the zoo, right? They will use him finish and dump him. You should go and ask the likes of Rotas uh, uh, Okorocha, uh, Ken Namani, and also Ekure Mado, who is in the UK prison. They have forgotten about Ekure Mado, second man for 18 years in Zojuria, Senate Deputy Senate President. Nancy demands reversal of uh, FinTech's uh, 15 Nara transfer levy. On people who are using OPE or whatever you call it. Anyone, my honorable people, please, there's not much time. I don't talk too much. Like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel because more of these videos is on its way. Comment your doorstep. The Nigerian Army has denied reports of soldiers' mass resignation due to allegations of corruption and low morale. The denial was contained in a statement on Sunday by the spokesman or, or spokesperson of the Nigerian Army, Major General Onye Mamachuku. He was always, he must always be there. Each time they want to do the dirty work, they will call Onye Mamachuku. And uh, to defend, but this time they want to uh, uh, issue out a very useful information, then they will use uh, Buba, uh, uh, Edward Buba. Hmm. The denial was, was contained in a statement on Sunday by the spokesman uh, or spokesperson of the Nigerian uh, army, which is uh, the Mumu, 
and uh, uh, Vazilios and Artcast Major General Onyema Wachuku. He emphasized that the report about the mass designation is misleading and a deliberate attempt to sow the seed of this, this affection and acrimony, as well as the indirect, the patriotic service of personal personnel and the reputation of the Algerian army. Wachuku added that the service in the Algerian army is a voluntary and not a cons cons conscriptive, according to him, as an individual, are free and uh, at liberty to disengage uh, at will based on established procedures. According to him, the allegation of widespread re 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 resignation due to poor welfare is not only unfounded but also irrational. And not true, they tell you, not true, these people don't resign. <laughs> the situation is the same as the Nigerian, uh, sorry, the Nigerian army personnel are at liberty to disengage from time to time in accordance with the laid down procedures as contained in the harmonized terms and conditions of service, officers and soldiers alike. This child from the Nigerian army is routine and in line with the laid down procedures. Only in uh, an un unorganized army uh, would, uh, would, would the discharge of personnel be handled uh, haphazardly. Hence, the compilation and release of names routinely, as most have been observed in the case of Nigerian army over the past years. Reacting to the particular report that the army spokesperson said due diligence was not taken to a certain reasons for the discharge of the personnel other than the spurious allegations of low morale and corruption. He submitted that the Zodiran army personnel are highly motivated and their welfare is top priority under the leadership of the chief of army staff, Lieutenant uh, Taurej Labaja. <laughs> Therefore, the allegation of widespread resignation due to poor welfare is not only unfounded but also irrational. The Nigerian Army remains steadfast in its commitment to the welfare of its personnel. It is, however, appealing to the witness concerted attempts to distort the truth for sensationalism in the media. He said, Mwachuku or the media always to verify information before publication and avoid being tools of disinformation. Belo Tunji don't slash uh, levy imposed on Zapfara villagers from 50 million naira now to 30 million. The resident of the Moriki town located in the Zurumi local government area of Zamfara State has successfully persuaded the bandit leader Belo Tuji to lower the ransom he said from 50 million to 30 million with a permanent deadline established for Wednesday. It was gathered that the said amount is purportedly intended as compensation for the death of Tuji's cattle, <laughs> which were killed by the new commander of army base situated in Moriki. Army killed his cattle, and then the villagers are the one that is paying the ransom. Hmm. Each head of the household is expected to contribute ten thousand naira, while unmarried individuals are required to pay two thousand naira. Furthermore, it has been reported that the villagers are proceeding with the payment, despite the commander's counsel agent against it and his assurance that he will not harm to this livestock again. Hey. Because I see uh, a commander have uh, uh, said uh, counsel against it, say they no pay, and give assurance say he will not harm to this livestock again. <laughs> Chai, na juju. The villagers as reported, uh, reported by Daily Post uh, are apprehensive that failing to comply with the demand may result in to this escalating, uh, escalating his violence actions against them, leaving them vulnerable to his aggression. Additionally, it was reported that as mostly 15 local politicians and social activists remain in Tuji's captivity, having been abducted from Witten Moriki, despite the presence of military personnel in the area. Stop killing innocent civilians, come out and face us. This one is Nigerian challenge to uh, Tuji, Ndara, Ndara, no mind them. A moment while a recently circulated video shows three Nigerian soldiers boldly challenging a notorious bandit K uh, leader, Belo Tuji, who is responsible for numerous violence attacks across the northern Nigeria. The soldiers expressed their frustration at the lack of orders from higher authorities to persuade Tuji uh, and his is and his third issued a direct challenge urging him to leave his hiding place and confront them head on. In the video which was primarily spoken in Hausa, one of the soldiers stated, Since they have refused to order us to come for you, you see, I'm, come out from your hideout 
and let's face each other and see what happens. The soldier's father taunted Tuji, questioning his bravery. Better Tuji, if you think you are a truly man and the son of your mother, come out and face us. <laughs> face to face. They condemned uh, Tuji's... Uh, they condemned uh, Tuji's uh, action, pleading with him to stop uh, harming civilians. For Allah's sake, stop kidnapping and killing civilians. They are innocent. The soldiers alerted their past success in combat, recalling their experience in defeating Boko Haram in Medugri, Bono State. Before now, we didn't know what a soldier or a gun was, and we eliminated Boko Haram. Now that we are soldiers and know how to use guns, Belo Tuji, you are really mad. Ajuri Ngerere was sat because of Ndibo, Kenneth Okonkwo. Nollywood veteran Kenneth Okonkwo has disclosed that the former special advisor on media and publicity to Bola Mbe Tunumbu, Ajuri Ngerere, was sat because of the people of Ndibo. The former spokesman of a Ubidati campaign organization, Kenneth Okonkwo, said this in a reaction to the sack of Ajuri from the so-called presidential cabinet. Although Ajuri on his Facebook handle, uh, said his resignation from his role as chief spokesperson of President Tunumbu was turned of his nuclear family's health issues. But not lie. Okute News, uh, however, reported that Ajuri was the victim of a battle in the presidency between him and the President's Special Advisor on Information and Strategy, Bayo Ononoga. On his ex handle on Sunday, Okonkwo said that Ajuri failed in his ex ex expected responsibility to publicly lie against the people of the Southeast. Which is Ndibo. I knew Ajuri Ngarale would not last up to two years in office as a spokesperson for Tunumbu. Can two work together except they be agreed? He left not only because of the pressing medical issues affecting his immediate family, but because of terminal medical issues affecting his job. Ajuri Ngarale must learn in the future that to be qualified to work for a Tunumbu. He must learn to publicly lie at all times and be bold enough to declare that Igbos are aliens in Niger Delta, Okonkwo said. Peter B appoints Ibrahim Omar as a, as a new spokesperson. If you like, you can appoint the whole house as. My dear, they will still betray you. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2020 general selection, Peter Gregory Obi, has appointed uh, Ibrahim Omar as the new spokesperson of the Peter Obi Media Rage, which is P-O-M-R. The appointment was announced by the immediate past uh, spokesperson of the P-O-M-R, Yanu Satanko, in a statement on Sunday. This follows uh, Tanko's appointment as the interim national coordinator of the obedient movement. Tanko said, a computer media analyst, graduate of Bayaro University, Kano. He, Omar, is from Wase Plateau State, member of Obidati Media Group, and young, strong, obedient member from the North Central. Speaking on the development, Omar said, Tanko's appointment will see him coordinate the activities of the obedient movement nationally and internationally. We therefore appeal to the members of the public to cooperate with these Nigerians and their new endeavor as we continue the struggle towards dismantling the gang of political criminals holding our dear nation hostage, according to UNISA Tanko. The last but not the least, NAS demands reversal of Fintech's 50 Naira transfer levy. The Senate Clerk of the National Association of Nigeria Students, which is NANS Oladimeji Otman, has urged economic uh, policy makers to reconsider the recently implemented electronic trans transaction fees imposed by fintech companies. In a statement released on Sunday, Oatman expressed his strong dis disapproval of the new regulation, which requires a deduction of 15 naira for every electronic transfer of 10,000 naira or more conducted through fintech services. This policy scheduled to be enforced September 9, 2024, is perceived as an additional financial strain on Nigerian students and the broader community. Otman noted that this new change or this new charge, which was previously limited to commercial banks, now applies to fintech platforms such as OP and MoneyPoint, effectively ending the period of co complementary banking services that many of these providers had offered. The levy directed to the Fulani government via the FIRS does not benefit the fintech companies themselves. Instead, Otman urged the Fulani government to consider 
alternative revenue streams, including investment in agriculture, high quality education, infrastructure, enhancement, and job creation, instead of placing further financial strains on students and the general populace. Tax them and tax them and tax them. According to Tulumbu, he said, I will reduce the purchasing power and widen the tax net. Is it not what is happening? It is happening. This sentiment reflects a broader discontent among students who believe that government revenge strategies, uh, sorry, govern, government revenue strategies to focus on a long term development rather than immediate taxation. The proposed 15 other electronic money transfer levy in, uh, impacts over 40.1 million Nigerian students who use these fintech services. Many students rely on financial transfer for their educational and daily expenses, and the new levy could significantly reduce the funds available for essential needs, such as school fees, textbooks, and living expenses. The statement added. So, my people, I'm going to make a digest and let me know what you think at the comment section. Like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel because more of these videos will be coming your way. Happy New Day and Happy Monday. It shall be well with all of us. Bye for now.